Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to invite you to join us today as we take you on a musical journey to Alaska aboard the cruise ship, the Crystal Harmony, an appropriate name for a program about music. Our journey will begin in the beautiful Canadian city of Vancouver, then on to Victoria, and to Alaska with visits to the Inside Passage, Glacier Bay, and beautiful picturesque towns along the way. Thank you for joining us as we enjoy the beauty of God's creation in both sight and sound. today on our musical journey to Alaska, John D., the principal oboist of the Florida Philharmonic Orchestra and one of the outstanding oboists in the world today. Nestled at the foot of Harbor Mountain on Baranoff Island is the former capital of Russian America, Sitka, situated in one of nature's most spectacular settings. Dominating Sitka's skyline is the 3,200-foot snow-capped cone of Mount Edgecombe, an extinct volcano 
as well as many other magnificent mountains. Russia's occupation of Sitka lasted for 126 years, but ended in 1867, and soon after was turned over to the United States. is the home of the Tlingit Indians, which were captured by the Russians and sold to the Americans. Sitka carries the legacy of both the Indians and the Russians, with its Totem Square, St. Michael's Cathedral, Castle Hill with the Baranoff Castle, the Sitka National Park, and the new Archangel Dancers, local women who perform Russian and Ukrainian dances in authentic costumes. It was our pleasure in Sitka to visit the small but impressively beautiful Sitka Lutheran Church. Here we found a petite organ of 15 ranks and two manuals, where as usual we were delighted to make music. On our musical journey to Alaska, it was our pleasure to visit the Sitka Lutheran Church, where I have here with me the pastor, Mr. or Reverend, shall I say, James Drury. I answered to lots of things, that's fine. Thank you for <laughs> being here with us today. We are delighted to have you here sharing our lovely little Kessler. Yes, I understand that this organ came to America from Estonia in 1845. It was built in 1845 by the Kessler Organ Works in Tartu, uh, which is now Estonia. It was shipped. Lots of interesting features on it. Um, the keyboard folds up. It's designed to, to fold up flat. I'm not quite sure the total mechanism, Something but you can like see that. it. Something like that. Just folds uh, right up. It's ready to take with you. And the stops pull from the inside uh, mm -hmm. rather than others. 
The pipes were all taken out and shipped separately and wrapped individually. And then when it got here, it was placed um, and put all back together, tuned, and was played for probably about 25 years uh, in the original church, which was built in 1843. In our musical journey of Alaska, we once again board the Crystal Harmony in Sitka to travel on to Juneau. On our cruise ship, the Crystal Harmony, we not only are able to experience the beauty of nature as we pass lush shorelines, snow-capped mountains, massive glaciers, and picturesque towns, but also able to enjoy the ambiance of friends and family aboard the streamlined vessel. Shipboard dining, whether inside or out, gives a chance to mingle with friends, old and new, enjoying stimulating activities including lectures, theaters, golf driving ranges, shops, and libraries. All this and much more in our musical journey to Alaska.
In our musical journey, we arrive in Juneau, the beautiful capital of Alaska. Juneau is located in the panhandle of southeast Alaska, 900 miles north of Seattle and 600 miles southeast of Anchorage. Without doubt, Juneau is one of the most scenic state capitals in North America. The year 1959 brought statehood to Alaska as the 49th state, and Juneau became the state capital of Alaska. I'm standing here at the wharf in Juneau at the statue of the dog Patsy Ann. Patsy Ann was a bull terrier who was born in Portland, Oregon in 1929 and came to Juneau as a pup. Because of her unerring sense of the imminent arrival of all of the ships, she was dubbed by the mayor in 1934, the official greeter of Juneau. Patsy Ann was stone deaf but somehow she could hear the whistle of the ships even before they were in sight. She would trot down to the wharf and greet the visitors warmly. After her death, the friends of Patsy Ann commissioned a statue of the official greeter of Juno, Patsy Ann. As the capital of Alaska, Juneau has a population of only 31,000 people. Its economy is based on tourism, mining, logging, and fishing. One of the features about Juneau that interested us so much on the joy of music is the fact that the State House of Juneau actually houses an organ in its main lobby, something we never have found in our musical visits around the world.
There are over 100,000 glaciers in Alaska. And not far from Juneau is the Mendenhall Glacier, a slow-moving river of ice stretching 12 miles and reaching one and a half miles across the Mendenhall Valley, with ice four to 800 feet deep. Although only minutes from downtown Juneau, a trip to the glacier transports visitors to a primordial past when much of North America was buried under ice. The mighty Mendenhall grinds its way from the Juneau ice field, 1,500 square miles of ice, a frozen expanse larger than Rhode Island. The ice field feeds 38 other major valley glaciers. <laughs> is Diane Bish and I would like to thank you for joining us today on the Joy of Music as we have brought you a musical journey of Alaska on the Crystal Harmony. We pray that you have been blessed and enriched by our program today and we look forward to seeing you again next week on the Joy of Music. If you would like to purchase today's program or any program in our library of over 400 videos and CDs from the great organs and historic churches of the world, please call 1-800-933-4844. We hope to hear from you.